Be true.
Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'll just call whatever your name is with call. Whatever your name is with call, I'm asking you all to be very, very brief. Because we have a lot of visitors tonight and we want to give everyone a piece of the cake. Oh, worship the name of Jesus. God bless the name of Jesus. Yeah. And this time we have our very old missionary Black in the house. And it's been a long while since we haven't seen her. So we're going to give her the chance to bring the peace to the church in Jesus' name. Let me hear you praise the Lord. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. First I must bring my Father which is in heaven. Then to God, most speaker, our bishop, our mentor, our apostle, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight, brethren, I just want you all to lift your faith. I'm based off testimony. I am a walking testimony to this ministry. Although this is the first time on this part of ground. But I just want you all to lift your faith. Lift your faith. Because we have a prophet in the house. Amen? We have a prophet in the house. Virgin, I just want to give you a short, short, sweet and spicy testimony. You know, I was here for a year. And when I'm about to leave, my apostle anointed my eyes and said, when I go back, things will be uh, better and different. Virgin, I was debating on raise a pay from my boss. But <laughs> I just want you all to know that when the Lord is preparing you, he show you a different dimension. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Let me hear you praise the Lord. The Lord said it's not your time for raise a pay. The Lord said it's time for me to do his work. Bridget, I am in this ministry. And in the ministry, I there is an immigration lady come. And when she come to the ministry, she picked out seven persons to go to the prison to pray. And when the names them come back down, brethren, it's only me alone on that list to go to the prison. Who could it be? You see, when the man of God speak, let us just listen and receive. This is my few words in Jesus' name. Bless the name of Jesus. Come worship the name of Jesus. Come bless the name of Jesus. I bless the name of Jesus. And this God, we're going to be using at this time our Reverend Mother Reed, followed by our Minister Douglas, just to greet the church in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me praise the Lord. Let me praise the Lord. I ask you the Spirit of God in my life to the Apostle. Bishop Reed, all of the officers and members accept salvation. Greeting. Let me praise the Lord. Let me praise the Lord. Lord, give me a
Jesus knows all about my struggle. In the name of Jesus, our soon and coming King, we bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. I am glad to be here tonight because the grace of God brought me here from Westmoreland. We bless the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord? But the writer said, We are not divided, all one body, we one in open doctrine, one in charity. Shall we bless the Lord? We bless the Lord. He said, Young man, I wrote unto you. Because you are strong, we bless the Lord. He don't mean young man alone. He mean young girl too. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. But I want to tell somebody that we've been made and you for a night. But joy come in the morning. God bless you. God keep you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God. And we're going to for Pastor Bro. In Jesus' name. Come on, we bless the Lord. We praise the Lord. First, just have a great spirit of God, simply, to a metropolitan, to each and every one in their respectful office. So just greet you all in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I'm just here to encourage you all. Hallelujah to God that your time is coming. We bless the name of Jesus because the Bible tells us about the prophet, hallelujah to God, Elisha. We bless the name of Jesus that has God has sent him, hallelujah to God, to a woman, almighty God, could not even find, hallelujah to God, food to eat, but God has sent him to that woman, for that woman, to fetch him something to eat, but I'm just here to encourage someone that your time will come, your barrenness will be over. God is about to make a shift that is not. Hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus. I came with all my Don't not fear No hope but in thy word No hope but in thy word And when I gaze upon the cross Elisha, we bless the name 
of God where God has sent him, hallelujah to God, and the location to locate this woman to fit him something to eat. Oh, we bless the name of Jesus. And know at time in our own situation, we bless the name of Jesus. Person will not come to us when we have things, but at times when though God Almighty, things are low in our cabinet, oh, we bless the name of Jesus. We will see someone to give. But I'm here to ask somebody. We all said that we are a giver. What can you give when you have nothing? to give. Uh, oh, we bless the name of Jesus. Uh, but I heard this woman uh, about to fill God Almighty, uh, about to gather up sticks, uh, about to make something uh, for him and his little son uh, just to eat and die. Uh, but suddenly the prophet came uh, and make a shift. Uh, I want you to understand uh, that there are
Bless the Lord. My word for tonight is coming from Proverbs 3, verse 30. And this is a message to each and every one of us. None of us is without stain. Shall we bless the Lord? And it reads thus Strive not with your brother or your sister without cause, if he or she have done thee no harm. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? I'll say that to say this in closing. The church is full of strife. And sometimes the strife starts from within the pew. And in order to stop it from spreading, the leader have to open his spiritual eyes. Shall we bless the Lord? This is my few words in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. 
and in this God we're gonna hear from our elder, well just greet the church in Jesus' name. Let me hear you magnify Jesus. Let me hear you worship the Lord. Magnify the name of Jesus. Magnify the name of Jesus. I just want to greet God who is the head of my life. That's my metropolitan primate. That's the Lord has faulted men and brethren. I just want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Worship the Lord. You see, tonight I came on business for the king. For he told me to smile and he told me to sing. And I cannot stand here and try to do my own thing. Hallelujah. Though that I may walk as I like, and I may talk as I like, but I cannot make it in as I like. You pray, my son. God bless you in Jesus' name. Sadi Wadri. Oh 
Jesus. Come on, bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bless God tonight. God may use him the district bishop of this ministry. Amen. To remove the offering for us tonight. Amen. Put your hands together and then we'll come over the district bishop lovely to the church in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless the Lord. Amen. God bless the Lord. Alright, so tonight we wanna have no time for weeks. We the church is so high already that we wanna have no time to waste. So we start at five thousand dollars. Anybody have a breakthrough after five thousand dollars please? Can we get ten? Virtual offering of a five thousand dollar. Thank you. 
Yes. In the meanwhile, can, can we get some virtual testimony with this? Who want to be the first one? We have three. I'm more than I'm just bringing comfort. I just want to give thanks to the man of God. I just want to give thanks. Jesus. You know, I wasn't supposed to be here tonight. But the mercy of God bring me here. And I just want to give God thanks. I you know there's a lot of things since week was happening to me. Turning my mind to come to church, turning my mind to go watch town. And the man of God oh, was talking that night. Friday night said, you have to go watch town. And people, I want to tell you what's happened. Amen. I get a phone call, was it good? And if it wasn't God, I would not turn my back and wouldn't do what I'm supposed to do. But the mercy of God pushed me through. And the mother of God was Friday. Friday gone. That I was supposed to go. And I bring my uniform to the tailor. And the tailor tell me I'm full. You can't take no more no more um, suit. And I go home and I pray. And I pray and I pray and I pray. And the man of God told me, you're going to what? Uh, and you know, <laughs> I'm so persistent. I go back and said to the man, say, you know, I really want this soul to go to church. And as soon as I opened the mouth and said, church, he said, come for it, Thursday. Mighty God. <laughs> Who could it be but God? And I was so happy. I told him that I would pay the full amount. I didn't know how much he was going to charge, but I don't. Wherever I get the money from, I was I just excited. You know when you're excited for God? Yes, yes. For be there. Yes. You understand? So, I mean, I'm so happy I'm here. And from I've been doing this to church, I've been more happier than ever. And I've been more striver in Jesus Christ. I can tell you. You know, you have brothers and sisters inside the church. They always have your back. Minister Campbell, I just want to say thank you very much for having my back. And, you know, um, Pastor Brian is always checking up on me as well. But, you know, we all need each other. You know, each one teach one. And I can tell you, Minister Campbell, thank you very much for your advice. Thank you. Man of God. God bless her. Keep on God and put it in family. Always. So I just want to tell you, don't give up. Never give up, no matter what. Just push forward. And if I wasn't pushing forward, I wouldn't get my suit. So my suit in the bag right there waiting to be blessed. Look at that. So I just want to give God thanks. God is good. He's awesome. All the time. Amen. Hallelujah. Alright, so we need 10 more. That's 10 more to us, lovers. Anybody have the full last year? Alright, so we need 10 more. So we can get one five, one, one, two. Good night, everyone. I must first greet the Spirit of God, who is the head of my life, second to a worthy. Major Police and Private, to all the officers, I give you a good night's greeting. Um, they, about three weeks ago, three Fridays ago, the apostle prophesied to me and he said to me that my husband and I will be getting a big breakthrough. And he told me that I should go on three days fasting. I didn't waste any time. The week after, I went on my three days fasting. And it so happens that the week after, after I went on my three days fasting, which would have been from the Wednesday to Friday, um, I got sick. When I got sick, I ended up not going to work um, the following, two days out of the following week. 
Now, I didn't know, but I was believing and trusting in God. I don't know what the virtue is, but I, I was believing and trusting in God that what the Metropolitan had said, that it will come through. Now, I had been praying to God, and well, speaking to God openly and in prayer and telling him that I need a permanent job. And it's so hard. I said to him that I'm going to a new place and I need him to walk with me. And if it is that he gives me this job and he needs me permanent, then I'll come and I'll testify about it. Now, the week after, I did my fasting and I got sick and I didn't go to work on Monday and Tuesday. It so happens that on the Friday, when I ended up going to work, I came to my office and I saw a couple letters. When I looked in the envelopes, I saw my permanent sick. And I said, thank you, Jesus. He gave me exactly what it is that I asked for. So that was my breakthrough. Now my husband, my, my husband, I didn't know, he didn't tell me, but he got a, 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 a promotion. He got a promotion in his job. So anything that the apostle tells you, you should believe, believe in God. Have faith in God, trust in God, because he always hears and he cares. So just lift up your faith in Christ. Believe in the apostle, because the apostle is his son and he's our, and he's God's servant. So I believe. Praise God, praise God. To my apostle and father, Apostle Ray Faster, to the, all the officers and members and friends with you in the mighty name of Jesus again. Hallelujah. It was five years ago, I, I, I was very down as I said. I mean, I mean, I was broken. I was in the valley of decision, way down, way down. I was one of the dry bones, trying to find my way out. But then I couldn't. Then I came in contact with, on YouTube, with Apostle's YouTube videos. And then I was watching the loneliness because I subscribed to them also. And Cashel, Sister Foster, yes. and I watch all of those YouTubers, yes, and then, and then I, I was watching and watching, and one day, you know, he was preaching, and he was really preaching, and it seemed like it was me he was talking to, and you know, the Lord told me that I lost my first love with him, that I should, I mean, there is, he has somewhat against because I lost my first love. And then while Apostle was there, I was getting the word and getting the word because I feed on the, I mean, the YouTubers from the Sacred Heart program to survive. Because I have no church up there you can go because where I'm living, there's no church like this up there to go. So this church become my church. My God. So everything prophesy, I know every members in the Bristol <laughs> Church. I know their name. I know all their names because I watch it 24-7. Yes. I bought a big 55 inch TV, I put it in my bedroom and put one in my kitchen. Because when I'm in the kitchen cooking, I want to be watching also. Yes. Yes. And this was, and this ministry was food for my soul. I have no other way to go. And I want, I was very, I mean, I was very down and I wanted to come up. And while he was preaching and teaching, I accepted the Lord as my personal savior. It was five years ago. But then on and on, he was keep on teaching. One night, I, I was sitting on my bed and I was watching. And I had some paperwork. I had a two-year green card. I don't know what a two-year green card is. All right. So I had, should have, if it expired, I should have, a, I mean, apply for the tenure. I did the tenure, but it takes so long. I couldn't wait and wait and I didn't get it. So I decided I'm coming back to Jamaica. But then afterward, I mean, a pastor was saying, some paperwork you're supposed to get and hold up. And he was praying and saying, you should believe. And I sit on my bed and I believe. I stand and I lift my hands and I believe. And believe me as I stand here, two weeks after, I, I believe and I worship God for it and I believe. 
I got my green tenure, green card is my mailbox. I didn't go to an interview. You know in America, you can go to an interview. I did not go, I get it in the mailbox. All right, it was another time again, as I said, I was in my room and it was prophesying too about more paperwork as I applied for my citizenship now because I want to get to, I mean, to exhale higher from that 10 years. It Because the 10 year would up 2028, but I still try to get the citizenship. So I study all those 100 questions. So he was prophesying and he said, it hold up, you need to, I mean, believe, believe, because it be. And don't worry yourself. He was here preaching one night, and then I said, you know, I am going. Then I get interviewed it, and then I went. When I went to the interview, they asked me no question. It was 100 questions I had to, I mean, I you know, America history to be a citizen. And they didn't even ask me one of the questions I studied. The lady just said, give me your passport. I'm going to send you to, to the citizenship ceremony. And it was during COVID time, because so you have to be in your car to drive to and do, do those, I mean, that ceremony. And I went and I got my citizenship without no doing that. No. Yes, no, 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 person I saw, they didn't answer one of them. And I got my citizenship. Then again, I had the, the, a glucoma in my eyes. My, my, uh, my, my, my eye pressure went from 14 to 13. Anybody who is a nurse know what that means. You can't do no operation when it has done 30. Yeah, it, it has to go down. And for nine months, I think I was there. I've been to doctors every week because I have a good woman was bad. They come operate. And then, pastor, I mean, a, a pastor again, a pastor again said, somebody have an eye problem. You may be watching it from YouTube, Facebook, wherever. Believe God for your deliverance. And believe me, I believe God for my deliverance. A few days after I went, when I went there, they, they said they could do the laser because they, they I mean, the, the pressure is down to 14. So they could do that. So they did it. And then it was the 5th of February year, I went back. And when I went, I said, why are you testing this high? Is this high? Why, what, what happened? They said to me, you don't have glaucoma anymore. It's gone. It's gone. Today I'm rejoicing. I have more testimony. I have my kids used to live out here nine years out in America. And I have a 22 years old, a 28 year old, and a 32 year old. And they're all in America. Within nine years, I was here because I believe. He also said, Pray for your children. You charge what he said. Don't take it for granted. Believe God for your children, he was saying, and I believe God. And today, my, my three children and my granddaughter, they are in America. And she said, oh, one of them is a teacher, one of them is a nurse, one of them is a welder. And my son, who's a 22-year-old, he just bought a house too. That is just blessing me. When I come into secret, it's just blessing, blessing, blessing. It's just blessing, blessing, blessing. I was to come here, I wanted, Rick was saying, the pastor was saying, Lord, I pray that my members can come and go. You remember that once? Yeah, I can come and go. And they should come and go. And I didn't have any money. Because in, in, in the winter, you can't work. Because it's snow, you can't go outside. We are living. And I believe. And this, this morning, I woke up. He said in the night, and I woke up in the morning. And I said, I'm going to check. My, one of the airlines that I always travel on. But I, I was locked out from it. So I called America and I said to them, I have my account. I can't get in it. And, and the gentleman said, yes, I can do it for, but guess me what? I see where you approved for a credit card of $8,000. I said, oh, and I sent in three days. And in three days, so I bought my ticket to come here. Yes. yes. So I did not have because it's snow now, snow time. So you, you, you just get a few days, you can't go to work like that. Because I'm working with a big firm. So you know, they just tell you not to come and so. But I tell you, this man of God, I'm scared. I'm really scared because that's me what whatever you say for a man to prophesy and I received it in America. I didn't know nobody from there. I didn't know nobody. And from E to E from and I receive it and I'm sitting on my bed. He's really a man of God. And you see, whenever time you come to church, I don't let nobody force you to stand. In days gone by, it's because I was a church of God, a long church of God, a long time, so I know a little about the Bible. When you see this man of God coming in church, don't wait for nobody to tell you to get up. You know why? When you receive him, you receive your blessing. Come on. When you receive him, you receive your blessing. Don't let nobody tell you to get up. Oh, stand, stand. Don't do that. 
because when you when you come in and you receive him, you are receiving your blessing before you even start yeah. prophesying. Yeah. You need to get up and rejoice and I mean respect this man of God. With, when days gone by, the Zacchaeus when he sat in the sacrament tree. He said, Come down, Zacchaeus, so they must abide at your house. People will run out to meet when they see prophets. You don't sit down and act like there's nobody here. You have a prophet among you. You have a prophet. I pay so much money just to come here to see him and to get baptized. This is the only reason I come here. This is a man of God. This is a man of God. There's no Lord. I don't know this. Tonight was the first I've met him. Sasha's wife, first wife, was there also bringing me along. I want you, YouTuber from with her, subscribe to her. And boy, she's a YouTube preacher. She persuaded me also to fully, to be baptized, to make the right to commitment. I was there and on and, and deciding and watching the church. And then by she, she's a YouTube preacher. Let me tell you, she's doing great on YouTube. Yes, yes. Her. She was the one who helped to, I mean, to seal it so I couldn't really accept and say, yes, I'm coming down to baptize. At first, I'm seeing her. I don't know nothing about nobody in here. Amen. Yeah, so guess what? Don't pray for the man of God. Pray, pray for him. I only for the faith, believe in the mind. If you believe, you will receive. Because I've made ups, me up for it. I mean, I know nothing about me, just believe. I mean, say, I say, all of my children, one is teacher, one is nurse, one is up doing government, I mean work. Let me tell us all of them working with the government. And it's just nine years I'm in foreign. Since I met this, met this man six years ago, all my life. Everything is just blessing, blessing, blessing. Oh. All the doors are for us. Oh. All of them for us. And I'm not saying this, I can't tell you, because I, as I tell you, my daughter is in North Carolina, North Carolina teaching in a school. You understand me? So I, I tell you, Zara, it is real. This prophet thing is real. This is the man of God. He's hearing from God. So be careful and pray for him. Don't think you, you have a prophet among you. A prophet is a prophet. You need to receive him and you will receive all your blessings. Because if one like me, so sinful and so dirty, can receive and get my deliverance, you can get it. You just believe. Believe in your mind. When you come in, in the church, don't let Pastor Mal, Bishop Mal, and Captain, brethren, stand up. Stand up. No. When you see him coming, you should be getting up long before him to come in. And get up. Get up and receive your blessing. And that's how you start receiving your blessing. When you accept the man. When you go to a court, it's not everybody just all rise. This is a man of God. Stand up and worship God. And stand up. Stand up when you see him come. Because this is a man. He's bringing a message from God. The same God you come in to worship. He's bringing a message from God. And if a man come in making a, bringing a message from God, you need to, I mean, put yourself together. That's a holy man coming in in front of you. That's a holy man. So we need to worship. I am a prayer. I wish I was here. I wish I was here. Believe me, I wish I was. See, me pay my fear from here now. That's why I mean, I rejoice, so coming home, me not come back to one next six months ago. So me, I'm trying. Come me not come back. Me sorry to you, no. Me sorry to you, but then you know why, me I'm trying. God bless you, no. God keep you, no. Thank you.